The Frank Haith Show, brought to you by Don Thornton Cadillac, Pepsi, River Spirit, TTCU, The Credit Union, and St. Francis Health System. And now your host, Bruce Howard. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to the Frank Haith Show, our first show of the year. I'm Bruce Howard, joined by the head coach of the Golden Hurricane, Frank Haith. And uh, we're eight games in. You're five and three as we start this first show. Of course, we're going to have all sorts of highlights coming up these first eight games. Your assessment of your team after eight. You know, we, we played a good schedule, obviously, the two games out in Vegas, and we go on the road and have a true road game at Utah. And, I, you know, we could have won every one of those games, those three losses. So I want us to get prepared for league play. I think he's doing that. We got to get ready to play the next one. Well, as we mentioned on the first show, it's always wall-to-wall -wall ball. So highlights coming up next on the Frank Haith Show. We're back on the Frank Haith Show. And as you get ready for the season, Coach, you know, the, the, there's all that preparation going on. You're taking on Alcorn State to start. What are the concerns as you go in as a head coach? Well, I think, you know, we've had two outings. We played Louisiana Tech in a close scrimmage when they had an exhibition game. Just getting after it, just getting out in front of our folks. And uh, I thought our guys were ready to start competing. Yeah, Alcorn State is the first game as the Hurricane uh, playing host to that team. And uh, certainly there's lots of unknowns, aren't there, coaches, to get ready, huh? Yeah, there is. You know, we, 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 you know they came into this game, Alcorn State, playing a lot of zone, backing off of us. And we, we really, we anticipated them playing man, but they did. And, and, and that's what happens in these early games. You don't know how a team's going to play. And uh, so we got to a little bit of a slow start. We started making some shots there. You can see drive making a top of the key three there. Uh, and then we started getting our drive game going as tap getting to the rim. So it was just a matter of us getting our, our, our feet underneath us. 18-15 at that point with the Hurricane uh, in the lead. And there's uh, a basket by Alcorn State. But as you get ready to, to get things going uh, here in the late moments of the first half, then you start cooking. Yeah, Elijah uh, had a good ball game, made a couple threes here. And, but it was great penetration by Lawson right there to squeeze the defense a little bit. And that's what we needed to do. Uh, you can see a bunch of these games here. We got to do a little bit more of that, putting pressure on the defense. Nice way to end the half here. Yeah, good execution there. Good spacing and allowing that drive opportunity for, for our tap right there. So you end up leading at halftime by a score of 40 to 37. Now in the second half, nice steal here by Zeke Moore and he takes it all the way. Yeah, good finish, good layup finish by Zeke in transition. Uh, good gap defense right there, too. Starting to pull away, but again, as you can see, Alcorn State was a pesky group, but uh, again, it's it's offense being fielded by your defense. Yeah, there's, there's Kern Scott coming across on a dig and then the finish in transition by Lawson. So as you can see, Tulsa starts to pull away here, and now it's a 13-point lead, and again, it's great defense, and what a way to end the game, huh? Yeah, good, good, good defense right there again, and good uh, finish and a uh, transition, and that's when we're at our best. TU on their way, 73-56 was the final score. Sterling Taplin led the way with 16 points. He also had five assists, and you shot the ball well at 49 percent. We did, we did, and 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 we held them under 40 percent. So. It was good to see us get off to a good start shooting the basketball. Okay, then your next game is South Carolina State at home on a Saturday, and they're a, a team that, again, you don't know a whole lot about, but you, they played hard, didn't they? They did, and they had some good athletes, you know, real linky guys in, at the rim, uh, which made it difficult for us a little bit there getting going. But again, there's a you know throwback to Elijah, and he's shooting the ball well at this point in time. And now this is going to be uh, layup inside as Zeke, Zeke Moore, Moore again yeah, made a nice down move. in transition. Uh, again, those are the plays we got to do more of. You're going to see late here, we don't quite get enough of those, but we pack the gaps and we kick it out for a wide open shot. And now you can see here late in the first half, you're starting to pull away and uh, tap with a nice three pointer top of the key. Yep, yeah, good, good pass by Zeke Moore there and, and uh, ready hands, ready feet. Elijah Joyner really has worked on his shot, hasn't he? He has, you know, and you can see the, the improvements uh, with the confidence he's shooting it with, you know. 36 to 25 is your halftime lead here early in the second half. That's a beautiful pass. Good execution on the high-low uh, against the zone. As I said earlier, we're playing against a lot of zone here early in the season. And uh, another good execution out of bounds play. Daquan Jeffries extending the lead, and again, you're kind of pulling away. These are not easy games early on, and well, that's nice to see, isn't it? It is in transition, and Daquan and is another guy that's improved on his shooting, too. So, And TU 
with the lob inside and the layup by Martin Zigbano is again, you're pulling away at this point. Yeah, and we're, we're, we're running, planning transition, uh, uh, you know, good 22-point uh, win. And, you know, I thought our guys, we, again, we shot the ball well, 52% from the floor and 50% from three. Yep, Daquan Jeffries leading the way with 18 points and nine rebounds. And Curran Scott also chipping in with double figure uh, points as well. Then it's Cal Baptist, a team that had beaten ORU a couple of days earlier, and you got all you could take from them. Yeah, they're, they're, they're a really pesky team, and I know they're just turning D1, but they've got some D1 players on their team in terms of transfers, and they're a very capable team. They're a really good D2 team. Curran Scott, when he can get that shoulder in, he's awfully good, isn't he, for the basket? Yeah, and we got off to a good start this game. They just kept hung, hanging around. I thought we had a chance we could broke it open, but we didn't execute there, and then, then it became a game uh, in the first half, and they got confidence. Jariah Horn making a shot for you, and that's a good inbounds play for you. Really, really good uh, execution there. Duck in by uh, Quan, good pass. And now in the late going, and that's something you might not have seen from Martin Zigbanu with a guy on his shoulder to be able to dunk, huh? In yeah, a, a year or yeah, two ago. Yeah, yeah, and he's, uh, you know, he's gotten stronger, he's gotten better. Uh, there's Cal Baptist hitting three in the corner at the end of the first half. And they uh, try to keep it close. In fact, that they are ahead here in the second half. That was their largest lead, and you get yourself a bucket and start the comeback. Yeah, that was Kern on a dribble drive opportunity. Good execution against the zone right there, high-low pass and good finish by Martin. That layup by Martins gives you the lead with about uh, seven minutes to play in the game and start to try to draw away. But again, this uh, Cal Baptist team wouldn't go away and that layup by Daquan Jeffries gives you the lead and you end up winning the game 82-79 and uh, that was a very close game and, and re really reflective of how the game went. Yeah, it? it really was back and forth and they're, 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 they were coming off a good win against ORU. So it was a, it was a good win for us, it really was. Well, so the Golden Hurricane uh, remains unbeaten with that win over Cal Baptist. Obviously, that's just the first couple of games. So that's our first segment with uh, TU Basketball, and we'll get ready for uh, the next couple of games coming up next as we continue on the Frank Hayes Show. We welcome you back to the Frank Hayes Show. The Hurricane, uh, Coach, 3-0 and as you get ready for a Monday matchup against Little Rock. You've gotten off to a good start, but you have a home matchup, uh, and Little Rock's always tough, aren't they? They are. You know, a couple years ago, they came in here and beat us in our building on their way to the NCAA tournament. They got a new coach, but they got very talented players. So it's TU taking on the Little Rock Trojans, as uh, this has been a pretty even series through the years, uh, home and away against uh, the Trojan team. And as you get ready for this game, obviously a very important game for your team to get to 4-0, and heading for that uh, long road trip to Nevada. Yeah, and you can see us getting out in transition there and hitting the three. Uh, Lawson Corita, I think he started this game. Got this guy to a good start. Yeah, and Little Rock did have the early advantage, but uh, your team in transition. Boy, when you can do that and get some easy ones, it's a positive. Advantage. It is, it is. And that's good execution right there. Good, you know, obviously good defense by Dryer there. And that long basket draws you a little bit closer at 20 to 18. That's the great part of your bigs is they can shoot from the outside. They all can shoot it, you know, and uh, good rebound there by Dryer and good finish. So Horn on the uh, follow shot and the Hurricane again drawing a little bit closer. Little Rock though would have the halftime lead and there's Sterling Taplin doing what Taplin does. Yeah, and he's, you know, he's, he's great at getting to that rim and finishing at that rim. And again, down the back stretch here in the first half, Zeke Moore knocking down a shot for you. Exactly, but I, I like the play by Quan. That's what we got to do more of. You'll see us not do as much of that here later in a uh, couple of these games. Well, Tulsa down by three at halftime, and uh, I don't know what you said, but whatever you said to him at halftime worked. Well, we, we, we started squeezing the defense, uh, defense, but then squeezing the offense with throwing it in there in the paint. We, we had, thought we had an advantage in there, and we started getting the ball to March here early in the second half. Martin Zigbanu with that basket, and now you can see Tulsa's up by six as you start to draw away, and there's uh, Martins again. Yeah, we, we really wanted to get that ball inside, and Thought we had advantage here. Good, good hustle play there by Kern. And uh, we get down here in the front court. And it's Kern again on the layup. That's great hustle play by Kern. Yeah, all the way around. And TU is up by 10 at that point against this tough Little Rock team. Good defense right there by Jariah. Good pass, pass back. Nice finish. And the big one hand thunder dunk by Igbanu. And uh, you are on your way to a victory over Little Rock in a game that 
uh, obviously was was one you were very concerned with, but uh, you had to be happy with the with that second half, 51 points. Yeah, we we you know we 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 got out and executed there in the second half, and our defense got us going there. You see a couple of those steals and playing in transition, and, and then you know we shot the ball well. Yeah, and Martin Zegbano obviously with a huge game, 23 and 10. Now you go to Las Vegas for this tournament uh, in. Uh, Las Vegas, and it's against Nevada, of course, Nevada, Reno, and they're the number five team, number six team in the nation as you come into the game. Yeah, and I thought we played really well this fall game. You know, we we, we did some really good things of attacking the basket. Uh, you know, offensively, we were really, really good, I thought. And, uh, you know, defensively, we just fouled too much. You know, we got 42, 35 points from the free throw line. But there's Jiraiya again putting pressure on the defense, nice little mid-range jump shot. Yeah, and the Hurricanes still down by 10, but you know, you never let go of the rope in this game. They would get kind of on the cusp of a 10 or 11, 12 point lead, but you kept you kept it within distance. Yeah, we stayed within five or six, and you know, Tap was outstanding this ball game. Obviously, nice shot fake in, in the paint area and finish. Uh, good execution right here at the beginning of the second half uh, with Chris driving to the basket. And again, that draws you to a nine point deficit. Kaplan was outstanding, Sterling knocking down that three, and now the lead is only six for Nevada. Yeah, and I thought, you know, we, we were right where we needed to be to have a chance in this ball game. And there's Tap again with good execution and good finishing around that basket. You really attacked them well, didn't you? We did. We had a good game plan going after these guys offensively. Uh, they went zone a couple possessions, and, uh, you know, good skip pass, good shot. And that uh, three-pointer by Daquan Jeffries again draws you inside that 10, and you certainly have a shot here at the end on a couple of occasions. This is a really nice drive by Curran Scott. Yeah, we, we, we fought back hard. I, I love how we competed this ball game, even though when they had their runs, we had good execution. There's Quan on a dunk, a good drive, a good execution play. And, uh, you know, we do a good job of attacking these guys. No doubt about it. And then near the end, you're looking for points anywhere you can get them. And, uh, Look at Sterling Taplin, ready and able to fire that shot up and get it in. Yeah, ready hands, ready feet, uh, good execution. Uh, you know, just came up short, like I said, but I thought we, you know, we shot 54% from the floor and just wasn't quite enough. And 51 points again in the second half for you. Sterling Taplin was outstanding. However, he did tweak his ankle a little bit at the end of that Nevada game, and it probably affected him just a little bit in the next game, which was SIU Southern Illinois. Yeah, he struggled. He didn't move well against Southern Illinois, and it was a tough game for us. Well, the Hurricane playing in the consolation game of the Continental Tire Tournament, and there you see uh, Southern Illinois winning 79-69. to Looked like you had command of this game midway through or early in the second half, and they went on a 15-0 run. They did. You know, we, we, we controlled the first half, and we most part of the second half, then when they turned the corner, we could never get it back. Yeah, they made a lot of threes, which was a little bit unusual for them, but that's the way it goes sometimes as TU falls to Southern Illinois in the finale of that tournament in Las Vegas. We'll be back with more highlights right here on the Frank Haith Show in a moment. We're back on the Frank Haith Show, and our, our show of wall-to-wall -ball, ball continues now as we kind of race through these first eight games. You have a home game against the UT Arlington. They're a tough team and certainly an important game in a bounce-back situation for your team, right? Absolutely. You know, they, 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 they beat Northern Iowa early in the year, a Valley School. Uh, you know, Co 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 Chris Ogden is a friend of mine, a former player I coached at Texas, but a very talented team. You know, they, they got some good athletes. They play hard. And, uh, you know, we, we was off, you know, important for us to get off a good start against these guys. Yeah, and they threw the first punch, though, and you did not like the way you played in the first 10 minutes. No, we didn't. And, and it, we didn't play well. They, they put it on us because their, their quickness and speed kind of got us going a little bit, and we played too fast. And uh, there's Martin's getting a rebound, stick back, uh, you know, as we kind of get the game settled a little bit, get it back within five, and there you see it's 23-19. We have a chance to tie the ball game up here late in the half. Yeah, and you, you're playing well enough on defense to, to hold you in a, game, in a game such as this, and then your defense feels your offense again. It, again, Lawson just where he needs to be against in our zone. And then we broke the game, uh, Bruce, when we got some transition buckets. And you can see that UTA is still ahead here late in the first half, but there you go, uh, that good transition uh, spot up three. Two back-to-back, Quan and then Lawson both uh, knocking those down. And for the Hurricane, nice reverse layup inside by Barnes. Good quickness, good finish using the rim. 
And here in the second half, we get it going a little bit. Uh, good execution there. One more pass to the corner. Quan knocks that three down. Yeah, and Jeffrey's obviously a big threat in that corner three. And he, he shoots it a lot and makes it a lot. Now you got a two on one. Yeah, great. You know, 10 steals I think we have in this ball game. Great job deflecting that ball and going to finish on the other end. So the Hurricane again drawing away from UTA. And again, the defense. And this is the play of the year so far. The great behind the back pass. What a, what a nice job by Joyner. Yeah, and great steal and, and, and Quan running the floor, good finish. And then this three-pointer, Coach, how does this go in? Well, a couple of those have gone in and on us already this year, so we, we're, we're deserving of one. Absolutely. So that is uh, kind of the way things ended as TU goes on to the win 72-58, and uh, you knew UTA was definitely a threat. But you shot the ball well, you played well enough defensively, and again, a good second half for you. It was, and you know, we made 10 threes this ball game too, so it's the first game this year we, we shot the ball from three that well. But our defense, you look at those numbers, 39% from the floor, 15% from three, it was a really good job defensively. And then the Hurricane taking on the running Utes of Utah, a big chance for you on the road. Yeah, first true road game. Um, you know, both teams <laughs> struggled shooting the ball up, but I, I loved our defense early in this ball game. Uh, we just couldn't make a shot. And, and, and there you've seen some plays where I thought we could have got more of those opportunities by driving the ball and, and, and putting pressure on the defense instead of seven. There, you see a lot of these buckets we score where we're driving them. Even though they're playing our zone, I thought we had a chance to do more of that. Yeah, this was a, a very low scoring first half. Nice layup there for Karina. And that makes it a 23-17 game. That was your score at halftime. But you've had these sorts of slow starts before, and that's a terrific play here in the second half. Great finish by Chris Barnes uh, and great pass. But this, these plays right here, that driving and kicking, we, we didn't have enough of those in this ballgame where I think we had more opportunities to do that. And you'd missed your first 18 three-point shots, and that one by Lawson Carita kind of unlocked things for you. It did, and then, you start, then Gerard got going here. He had a, that's a little 12-footer in the paint area. We hit a couple threes here back to back. You know, there's one in the corner. Um, so, you know, cut it back to eight. You know, there's Chris Barnes in the passing lane. Good finish here. So we're right where we need to be here with eight minutes to go in the ball game. Yeah, and you would reduce the lead to three on this jump shot by Joyner, and that three-pointer makes it a three-point game. Unfortunately, then Utah went on a little bit of a run. Yeah, it's amazing. All those threes we got were paint touches inside out. Good offensive rebound right here. Dry just stick back, cut it back to eight. Yeah, and the Hurricane again, the battling from behind this entire game, but you never, never really lost contact with Utah. Just couldn't get those key baskets and key stops at the end. Exactly. They hit a couple threes here late, uh, and. And we, we just, we, you know, we had some execution plays, but we're, we're scrapping right at this point in time and uh, not giving up, you know, continue to attack the rim and, and make plays. And you're attacking at this point, uh, knocking that lead down once again, and uh, Jariah Horn would hit another three-pointer. You were just hoping for more of this attack mode earlier in the game, exactly. right? Exactly, and I, I think I've voiced that at the, at the end of the game, but where we got to play with a little bit more fire and pop their zone stymied us, but it shouldn't have. We should have just been in attack mode against it. And that said, you did get a lot of open shots. I mean, you had a lot of. I thought you ran your offense pretty well with the, the three pointers were were open looks. You just didn't knock them down. Huh? Exactly. We had a lot of open looks there in the first half, and even in the second half, we just we just didn't shoot the ball well, and that's what they were giving us. All right, we'll be back and wrap up our first show of the year. That's coming up next on the Frank Hayes Show. We're back on the Frank Hayes Show, and we kind of had a whirlwind with eight games that we just reviewed, but now the whirlwind continues because you have a great home schedule, uh, which continues this week. What a big week for your team. Yeah, I feel like I'm uh, back in the Big 12, you know, <laughs> this week, you know, with uh, the two games we have at Oklahoma State coming in here on Wednesday and K-State on Saturday. Just a great opportunity for our ball club. Absolutely. So we will see you at the Reynolds Center for those two games. 918-631. Go to you for ticket information or TulsaHurricane.com. We'll be back next week with another edition of the Frank Haith Show. So long, everybody. The Frank Haith Show. Brought to you by Don Thornton Cadillac. Pepsi. River Spirit. TTCU. The Credit Union and St. Francis Health System.
The Frank Haith Show has been a presentation of Golden Hurricane Sports Properties and a Kane Vision production.